sunshine. <laughs> um, we think I might be in labor right now, so I think we need to, we're gonna start packing okay. up to head to the hospital. We'll text you before we actually leave the house. We still gotta wake Avery up and like get the bags ready. Okay, we'll head to the hospital soon. You text us that you're going. Okay, sorry, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're just like Daniel running. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll text you when we're leaving. Bye. Okay. <laughs> you best believe Daniel just hopped out of bed and he's just gonna start pacing around the house like a nervous He's got nothing to do. He's a nervous dad, but uncle edition. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start packing stuff up. Do you want to update the camera? So it is February 15th at 4.53 a.m. right now. Last night in the evening, I started feeling a little bit um, consistent Braxton Hicks. So then we just kind of like started timing them. Um, and then they kind of died down a little bit and then we stayed up just to the sea and then it wasn't nothing was really happening anymore So we went to bed and then Rylan said while I was sleeping he could feel some Braxton Hicks I was um, trying to time them but they start intense and then let off so it was hard to know when to stop Yeah I was also falling asleep <laughs> But he said my tummy was doing crazy things while I was sleeping but I uh I don't know, I sleep through a lot of Braxton Hicks. I feel like at 4 a.m. I woke up to go pee. And then since then, I kind of noticed I started having more Braxton Hicks or contractions or whatever again. And this time I started to feel a little bit more in like my lower back and pelvis, which is kind of how my labor started with Avery. And since I had like such a fast labor last time, I didn't even make it to the hospital. The plan this time with the midwives was just to kind of be like, okay, if you think it's it, just like kind of start heading to the hospital and then like false alarm, whatever, but like better safe than sorry. So we just called our friends. Now we're packing up our bags and I think we're gonna get in the car and drive to the hospital. <sighs> Oh, and I'm 37 weeks, two days, so like really early this time. Avery was 38.5, so like this is substantially earlier, but I kind of, I felt like it was coming on. Um, <sighs> sorry, I'm trying to time these as well. I felt like it was, uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> Um, over the last couple of days, I've kind of felt like labor was coming soon. I just had like a lot of the symptoms that I kind of had with my first daughter. And today was like the last day I literally finished things I wanted to get done before baby was here. So, <laughs> I just, I don't, I feel like it's it. But at the same time, I'm in disbelief that it's so early. It seems pretty crazy. But I'm too scared to, to wait longer and then it'd be too late again. So, I think we're just going to go to the hospital. Daniel and Lucia are already awake. They're wide awake now. You want to go have a sleepover at Daniel and Chia's house? Okay. Are you going to bring baby? Are you excited for a sleepover? It's over my head. <laughs> it is you don't seem to care. It's 5 a.m. Do you? <laughs> you changed Yeah, mommy's changing. She got out of her jammies. But guess what? You get to wear your jammies to Daniel and Chia's. It's so fun. It's coconuts. It's coconuts. Okay, we gotta put some socks on you, Avery, and then we'll wear your fluffy shoes. And the worst socks <laughs> chilled in the house. You can take them off when you get there. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> this might be my last time with baby in my tummy. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, my name's Emma Cole. I'm a patient, and we just we had already talked to the midwife on call, and we just wanted to call again. Just, uh, if you can let the midwife know that we're coming into the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks so much. Bye. Oh, good timing. Uh, contraction just came on right at the end of that. No way this isn't labor. This that's that's getting a little bit more severe these days. All right, Lucia and Daniel came here to pick up Avery. There they are. It's Emma Cole. Guess we're checking the 
I'm just supposed to wear my ass, I'll wear a mask for as long as I can. <laughs> Just in time, I got a haircut yesterday. <laughs> I was also gonna say that you got nails done just in time. <laughs> that was the last thing on my like to-do list is I didn't want to have my ugly nails. Got them done literally last night. 12 hours ago? Yeah. So we are in triage. They don't admit until four centimeters. Emma is three centimeters. They gave us a ball to play around with um, to see what it's gonna take, but it's currently 6 a.m. and they're switching over midwives. They do 24 hour shifts, uh, so the current midwife is at her 23rd hour, so we'll be getting the fresh fresh midwife coming in, but they said probably won't come to check us till eight, or check Emma, I guess. There's nothing to check for me. So we will see what gets done in the next two hours. Uh, for Avery, uh, these oh, next two hours text. were key. And I just got a text of her. She's, she's not sleeping. She's watching the show now. She's having an emergency <laughs> sleepover. She's pretty excited. Flashing anybody here. <laughs> some ball action. Feeling like I'm getting the special treatment this time. I didn't, didn't get any of this fancy stuff last time at home. Yeah, filling out paperwork, like yeah, monitors. Yeah, the fact that we had time to fill out paperwork, I was like, this is a completely different experience. I think we kind of looked like first time parents because we were kind of like rushing. Yeah, I like wasn't in that much pain yet, and like we were there super early, and I had time to just like lollygag and sign forms. I was like, no, if you know the story, we're doing what we probably should be doing. Timing the contractions, looking for that. They say four minutes between one at one minute contractions for one hour, but with Avery it was 45 seconds every five minutes for 30 minutes, and it was go time, so. They're pretty short now, they were really long before. Okay, that was like a decent amount of time. Oh, 41 seconds. 41, 49, 23, 7 a.m. Update, still same old, same old. Waiting for the midwife, not till eight. Not qualified to check how far along Avon <laughs> is. Go look our best first impressions. <laughs> you have a, you have a new haircut, I can't. I can't be the ugly parent. We're both the cute parent. True. It's about 10 to eight, should be getting checked at eight and hopefully made it at least one centimeter in the past two hours so that you can be admitted. I feel like more, but I feel like I'm too chill for it to be more. But I don't know, last time the only check I got was your 10 centimeters time <laughs> so I don't really know how this works. It's weird, I feel like, uh, I almost feel like a rookie in a lot of this because we've never done this at a hospital and like everything was so fast last time and like I feel like we've been chilling for a long time this time, you know? Yeah, I was expecting a lot more drama. Yeah, me too. This is really chill. I'm kind of expecting that the midwife comes in and we get the same as last time because the last time she basically like went for the check and she's like, oh, you're fully dilated. So I'm still kind of expecting that this time. Oh, man. Contraction. 
8.30 now, uh, waiting to be admitted, hit 4 centimeters, but all updates on Emma's sleeping. We've been admitted to a delivery room, lights are nice and low, there's a little, little fancy futuristic crib there, and we're trying to finish up her makeup. <laughs> uh, yeah, so 4 centimeters, the midwife wanted us to wait in triage for another hour to see if things are progressing, but Emma said, I think we're gonna progress. We chose to go for the bigger room now. We're gonna stay here, we got our own TV, which I'm sure we'll be watching lots of. I think things are going good, the contractions are getting a bit stronger now. A little bit more than a bit, I would call it. Yeah, they're definitely more than moderate. Mm. On so I can join a little pool party. Tractors are getting quite strong. Nice uh, belated Valentine's hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Emma? A little shaky. But a little shaky. Yeah. You did the bath for about 20 or 30 minutes, then you were feeling the need to push in the last two contractions. Or don't I'm get down. warm. It's okay. Talking about possible positions to give birth in. We are at 8 centimeters, maybe 9, the wife said. Maybe it's coming soon. You feel the need to push with each contraction now? Definitely feeling a little bit of an urge now. The water's still intact like last time, hey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see how long that water stays intact. They said they won't need to break it. I guess last time they were going to break it because it was at home. Is this time I just wait? Holy, we're having a baby today. I think we are having a baby today. Very early.
to bear down a little, Emma. You can. That's okay. <sighs> Have a baby before noon, but you we're up. trying. Uh,
down, push down, push down. <sighs> go, 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 go. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. She moved a little bit inside, guys. And so essentially what that means is that we'll have our EQ team just stand here in case we need them. Very light, not a lot, but just a little bit. Your hips hurt in this position? Yeah. I have a cold cloth on my back. A cold cloth? Yeah. That contraction, good. Hold it all oh. down. Hold it all down, good. Big breath in. Try and hold all your breath in. Don't let any air out. And push down, push down, push down. Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit. Lower. That's it. Good. Yeah. Big breath and do that again. Hold that down. Hold that down. Good. to me still you'd be all i need you're the first of the year 